is Leo Phil. I'm one of the fisheries biologists out of the Springfield District. I'm here with Courtney Buckley, the other fisheries biologist out of the Springfield District. And today we are down at the Vernon Fish Ladder. Um, this is technically our counting room. Each year we count uh, the sea lamprey, American shad, and American eel, and historically Atlantic salmon passing through the Vernon Fish Ladder. <clears throat> so from here, we have a video monitoring system that we actually count these fish passing upstream. Um, and that's an indicator every year of how many fish pass a project, if the fish ladder is operating correctly, um, and it's really an indicator of our population. These uh, sea lamprey come in from the um, into the Connecticut River, they have to pass Holyoke Dam as well as Turner Falls to get up to Vernon. And they will go all the way up to, to the White River, which is just downstream of the Wilder Dam. So that whole migration is over 100 miles. <clears throat> sea lamprey are one of our more primitive fish in the Connecticut River. They're actually a native species. Um, they've been around for 300 million years. And one thing that people don't really know is that the anatomic population in the Connecticut River, they actually stop feeding and are not parasitic once they enter the fresh water. So these fish come up the river, they go into the tributaries, they spawn, and then they die. And those carcasses provide uh, really valuable marine-derived nutrients into the system, which has shown to increase local productivity. Um, right now, <clears throat> these fish are on their way out. So usually by this stage, they're blind. They start getting a little bit of fungus on them, their bodies start, you know, shutting down right before they spawn. We know that <clears throat> these fish spawn in tributaries like the Black River and the West River. We've been working with Great River Hydro um, under the FERC relicensing to um, better accommodate other species um, that use the fish ladder. The other species that you'll see passing through here is the American Shad. Uh, it's a very popular commercial and recreational sport fish. Um, right now, the regulation is catch and release only on the Connecticut River and the, on the Vermont and New Hampshire side. Um, but again, we count these fish um, because they go past Vernon and they spawn in the Vernon impoundment up to the Bellows Falls uh, Dam. Um, other species also use this ladder. Uh, you'll see some bass swimming by. We had a huge carp that went by uh, the last time I was down here. Um, walleye and sucker use it uh, earlier in the springtime and they're making their spawning run. So we do see other species using this fish ladder as well. And one other thing I wanted to mention about the sea lamprey is currently right now we don't have a lot of information on their distribution throughout the watershed. So we've been partnering up with Fish and Wildlife Service, um, Forest Service, um, New Hampshire Fish and Game, and UMass uh, professors over there to um, come up with a sampling regime where we can then identify their distribution. And one of the ways that we're going to be doing that is through eDNA. So Vermont Fish and Wildlife Biologists will be working with UMass to go out and collect samples for eDNA, which we would then go out and do a full-blown survey to identify um, spawning concentration and the abundances of those spawning concentrations throughout the, um, throughout the watershed. So eDNA technology is something um, that's been emerging. It's been around for a while, but it's really been, uh, picked up in the fisheries world. And what happens is, is that these animals will fluff off their DNA into the water. We can then collect that water. And what actually happens is that water goes through a filter. So the filter is actually what has the DNA on it. They can then run that DNA and determine what species that DNA came from. Um, this is a new technology in the fisheries world, so the uh, original um, plan is to go out and test known locations and abundances so that we can cross-reference that to make sure that we're not going to get here false negative. Um, so if you do see a sea lamprey um, out in your backyard creek, um, please don't disturb them. They are a, a native population in the Connecticut River. They're also considered to be a species of greatest conservation need. They are not the nuisance population that you would see in the Champlain drainage. They're two separate populations. This is the anatomous population. So we have been putting out posts to remind uh, the public to not disturb them while they're spawning. So we're just going to talk a little bit about how we do our video monitoring. 
And this setup is we basically use a camera that has a little light so at night time we can still see the counting window without getting a big glare. So what happens is that we take live video that goes from the camera, then goes to a converter box, and then gets transferred over to the computer, which has a program on it called SalmonCom. This program was originally designed for salmon, but has been modified through the years um, to also trigger for other species. And we do that by changing some of the parameters on the software so that it's more sensitive to other, other species like your lamprey or your shad. Um, so what this does is rather than having all the video, it's only taking clips of when a, when a fish passes, so it cuts down the amount of time that you're reviewing bubble or no fish. So this year, um, every year is different in terms of the number of fish that we see as well as the timing of it. Um, I think this year so far it looks to be a good start for both the American Shad and the Sea Lamprey. Numbers at Holyoke look to be really good. Um, right now, this past spring, it has been very low flow and warmer temperatures, so that may be impacting their ability to move up in these big flows that we're seeing right now. So this is my first lamprey. It appears to be, oh, I don't know, a little bit right across from the doghouse bar. Um, he was just getting swept downstream. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of underwater on him. 